Today we're taking a look at the lesser loved of the Les Pauls, the Les Paul Standard 50s with P90 pickups, now available in a new finish. We're going to convince you why this might be the Les Paul for you, so stick around. You're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. And if you want to support the channel, visit our Spring Store link below for custom swag and check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcasts. And yeah, we, we need to do some new episodes. So we'll be doing new episodes soon. The podcast hasn't gone anywhere. So make sure you subscribe so you're notified when those come out. So... We've got a pair of P90 equipped Gibson Les Pauls, and we've done a video on one of these before. The This is the standard 50s gold top with P90s, which was was previously available. This model is also available with humbuckers. Yep. And when we compared it with humbuckers, we were kind of like, this is, this is maybe the preferred one. Yeah. But for most people, it's not. Most people, it's not, but especially if you're trying to add something a little different and you maybe already have some with humbuckers or just kind of want a creamier, jazzy tone, P90s are pretty hard to beat. Well, I like P90s for kind of a rock and harsh tone too. I mean, P90s yeah. are just really great sounding pickups, whether you're adding a lot of gain with overdrive or you want a nice smooth clean tone, they really kind of do a lot. And I think it's important to recognize that the original uh, kind of blueprint for the Les Paul was this guy. Now, yeah. the bridge was a little bit different in the early 50s when the Les Paul first came out, but it was a gold top, you know, mahogany body neck, maple cap with P90 pickups. The humbucker came about as a technological improvement to get rid of tone, mm -hmm. but it changes the tone as well. You yeah. know, if you've played any kind of a single coil guitar, that single coil sound has, has more brightness to it. Yeah. And by adding a, another pickup that will cancel out the tone, you're also losing some of that high end. And I think that's one of the reasons that the P90s are so great. Yeah, I think, I mean, like you said, you can use P90s for pretty much anything. It's all going to sound good. However, I do think that they beat out, especially in that clean tone. And then once you get into overdrive and stuff, it's just kind of your preference. Yeah. But some about plugging these in, today we're on the new uh, Tobacco Sunburst, but some about just plugging it in straight to the amp. It sounds really good. It sounds really pretty, uh, clean, chimey, cuts through a little bit better than just like a super clean humbucker, yeah. might get a little muddy on you. Uh, but yeah, I think it's cool. The Gold Top P90 has been popular um, always and really, really hard to get because there was like a year there they didn't do any Gold Tops. Right. Um, gold Tops are hard to shoot. Uh, finish wise. And video wise, because we can barely even get them. So, um, <laughs> but the thing is, they they added this. I think it's to meet demand for people that don't necessarily want a gold top, but also maybe because the gold tops were harder to do, took longer, it might be nice to just do a normal kind of burst. I mean, this is not your craziest burst you've ever seen. This is not the bangle burst. Yeah. It's a normal tobacco sunburst. And um, I think people are going to dig it having a different option for the P90s. Well, so what it does is it brings to the Gibson lineup a different Les Paul with P90. So the, the Les Paul Special has P90s, mm -hmm. which I think, by the way, that's a really cool guitar. Whether yeah. it's TV yellow or it's in that cherry finish, yeah. that's a cool guitar, but it is a special. It's a flat, t thinner uh, Les Paul. It's kind of a, a, a stripped down Les Paul, mm -hmm. if you will. That's why it's called the Special. And there are those who want the full Les Paul experience, but with P90 pickups. Yes. And so that brings us to what we've got, which is, you know, it's part of the that, what is it called? Not modern collection, the original, the original collection. collection. So they're, it's harkening back to the 50s without being a custom shop. So it's not exactly like the 50s spec wise, but it's, you know, very similar to what was going on in the 50s, kind of that similar recipe, if you will, even if you're using you know, new flour, butter, whatever in the recipe, it's still going to be about the same. Yeah. That's what's going on here. So the standard 50s on both of these guitars and even the humbuck equipped guitars have a neck profile that's a little thicker, more in line with what was going on in the 50s. You've got the uh, amber colored, you know, top hat knobs. You don't have the capped ones like you'd see in the 60s. The 60s also come with thinner necks, but there's also not a P90 option in the 60s models, just like there's not a... Uh, mini humbucker deluxe model in the 50s or 60s that's in the 70s deluxe version yeah so it is you know looking at what was happening in those particular decades p90s is what was going on in the 50s uh up until i think it was 57 
someone will correct me, it's 56 or 57 when they added the humbuckers. Then in 58, they had burst tops. Um, and then in 59, they became figured and stuff. And we were talking about that earlier because this is not a very figured top. It's not bad not, grain, but yeah. it's not flamed in it, you know. Yeah, all. you don't see any flame. And that was, that was what you would have seen in 58. So uh, in 1958, and this is true if you get a custom shop 58, they're not really going to be figured tops. Yeah. Because, you know, the story is the whole reason for gold tops was, one, to look fancy, and yeah. two, to hide the fact that it was maple, you know, so that I guess Fender wouldn't figure it out or something like that. I don't know. Bandsaws didn't even exist at the time. So um, you had mahogany body, mahogany neck. You had this maple cap. And then I think mostly for looks because they did black tuxedo style versions yeah. and they had these gold tops. And then they started doing these bursts, which they previously did on ES models. And I don't think they thought the solid body market would be into it. Yeah. And then when they're like, oh, y'all like that, okay. And then in 59, you started seeing the flamey tops And then you've got through. the burst. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think it's it's interesting because all the 50s standards that we get with humbuckers are super figured. So is that 59 standard? I mean, it's, it's yeah. more like a 59, yeah. yeah. But I mean, I, I think that some people do kind of dig the less figured tops for more of a old school, mm -hmm. older school look. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think it's cool with the P90s, the, the color of the burst fits. I like the binding, and it's definitely not the lightest guitar in the world, but it's... No, since these are original collection, um, and again, going back to more historic specs, there is no mm -hmm. weight relief in these guitars. So, yeah, they've got some heft to them, but like, yeah. do you even lift, bro? It's a Les Paul, it's okay. They're not 70s Les Paul, like denser than a black hole weight, yeah. Um, if you know, you know. Um, but yeah, they're they weigh more than like a Strader Tally does for sure. So, yeah, we we this just came in. We got a couple of these. We've also got the gold tops at the same time. We've also got specials at the same time. Yep. So, luckily for the first time in forever, we have kind of a selection of Les Pauls. But it's worth it to check out the new finish. Take a listen to what it sounds like. Obviously, you've seen this in videos before on the channel, but. If you know what that one sounds like, you know what this one sounds like. If you want a refresher, here it is to the Blues Junior. Little kiss of something, a little bit of push. Not really overdrive, so you can still hear the clean tones, but a, Just little, a little, little something. A little yeah. something. So there you have it. It's the Gibson Les Paul Standard 50s, now available with P90s in a new finish, which is Tobacco Burst. And since it's a new finish, of course, it sounds exactly the same <laughs> as the old finish. But it's a great sound, and it's a great option to have if you want a P90, but you're not a fan of the gold top, or you just want something that's a little bit different. Um, and the rest of the, the recipe here works pretty well. You know, it's a great finish. It's a great look. If you're not familiar with the rest of the specs on a 50s uh, you know, Les Paul, You've got a shorter scale length than you typically have on like a Strader Tele. You've got your vintage uh, Cluson style uh, tuning buttons. Scale length's 24.785 inches, I think. Much slinkier feel to the fretboard, rosewood fretboard with your, uh, your standard inlays there. Um, and then you've got your toggle switch with a nice little amber 
uh, switch cover there that uh, people constantly try to steal in stores. So if you ever go to like a big shop and they're all missing, that's why people steal. Blame your neighbor. <laughs> Blame your neighbor all the time. Um, and they both come with hard shell cases. Yeah. Great guitars, classic Gibsons, but with a twist. You know, and I was joking before we did the video, I feel like maybe not the least loved Les Paul. You said that's the deluxe model. That'd be the deluxe. You know, um, but maybe like the Jan Brady of the Les Paul lineup where the humbucking kind of flame top gets all of the the love. Humbuckers, humbuckers, humbuckers. <laughs> exactly. You know <laughs> that's exactly it. Um, but you know, Jan needs some love too. So if you haven't tried one out before, you haven't considered one, you should definitely consider and you might become a believer and embrace P90s over humbucking pickups with your next guitar purchase. I think so. Which color do you like better? You know, I, I am a fan of gold tops. Me too. Um, I really do like that. I actually like um, bursts and I like the tobacco burst a lot. Um, I dig this color. I already have a Les Paul, so if I got yeah. one, I'd probably be, you know, the 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 gold top. But yeah, I wish they would do more just plain black guitars, black with the white binding and the white pick guard. It's hard to beat, and you don't really see them. Yeah. So maybe next time. That looked pretty classy with the, uh, with the cream colored P nineties. Yeah, that'd be nice. So but that's just me. There you go. This gets you half the way there. When uh, when they come out with one, you'll know that they stole the idea from Cooper and didn't give him credit. The next news that you see about <laughs> changes of leadership at Gibson, <laughs> me. The the C, uh, let's see, what would it be? The chief color officer, the COO. I'm the CGO. CG <laughs> Cooper Greenberg officer. <laughs> I love it. Can we put that on your business card? It's CGO. From now on, it's going in every video. Chris McKee and Cooper Greenberg, CGO Alamo CGO. Music. So, awesome. Well, if you have any questions about these guitars, you want to go to our website, which is? AlamoMusic.com. Yeah, that's right. the website. Yeah. <laughs> that's the URL. Don't you forget it. If you go there, you can check out all the specs on these guitars. You can check out the photography you do for, for these guitars. And if you have questions, like you want to compare some stuff, if you actually want to hear some samples, hey, what does it sound like comparing this to a humbucker guitar? Uh, we've got that video, but we can also check out what we have in the store and do some special stuff for you. All you got to do is chat with one of our associates on the website live, and they'll help you out with that stuff. So if you are new to the channel, you should subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos, and keep coming back for more, and we'll keep bringing you the best guitar content on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.